Okay, here we have um, a problem again that where we're multiplying radicals, but they do not have the same index. So because they don't have the same index, we're going to have to go about looking at it slightly different. Let's rewrite this as um, 6 to the 1 half power times 9 to the 1 third power. Now, we can't work with this as is because these bases are not the same and we can't get the bases to be the same. But we can work with the fractions. We can get those denominators to be the same. I can rewrite 6 to the 1 half as 6 to the 3 sixth and I can rewrite this one as 9 to the 2 sixth power. Now by doing that now they now have the same index. So if I rewrite them as radicals, this would be the sixth root of 6 cubed times the sixth root of 9 squared. Oops, squared. Now that they're the same index, we can go ahead and we can multiply our radicands. So we're talking about sixth root of 6 cubed, which would be 216 times 9 squared, which would be 81. Ooh, that's going to be a big number. So now when we multiply those two together, we have the sixth root of 216 times 81 would be 17,496. Okay, now we would normally say that we were done, but we have to make sure that we can't simplify this any at all before we, get, before we say we're done. So I remember I wrote out in a previous video our perfect six powers. So we're looking for uh, 17,496. So as I go up here, 17,496 is not a perfect sixth power, but we might be able to, um, it might have a perfect six power in it. So remember, just so you can um, remember what number we're working with, we were working with 17,496. Okay, well it can't be these, these are too large. Oh, well, this one is too large and this one won't go in there evenly. What about 4,096? If I divide that into this number, it does not go in evenly, so that's not a factor. What about 729? 729 goes in there evenly. And 729 is actually 3 to the 6th power. So I could rewrite this as 729 times 24. When I multiply these two things together, we get 17,496. And now we can take the 6th root of each one of those. The sixth root of 729, remember from our list, was 3. 3 to the sixth power is 729, so this is going backwards. And 24 is not a perfect sixth power, so we're just going to leave that as 3 times the sixth root of 724.